Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. I'm super excited for this one. So I started off with some banana persimmon nice cream, just frozen bananas and frozen persimmon blended. And I just added some vanilla extract to make it that vanilla bean kind of flavor and then some ground cinnamon. I just think they go well together. And I added some flax seeds and some chia seeds. Now to show you this amazing salad that I made and as I'm editing this I literally just consumed this same exact thing because it was so good. So it was chickpeas, tomatoes, cucumbers, a little bit of avocado, just the rest that I had left in my fridge and this was all on top of a thick bed of arugula which is one of my favorite greens and the sauce on top is this green coconut curry sauce from this Thai place that I ate at the night before and I ate all the veggies out of it and had some left over so I put that on the salad and it was amazing and then I added some baked chickpeas so I had some raw chickpeas and baked ones in there and it just added a nice crunch you guys know I'm obsessed with these and if you haven't tried baked chickpeas I definitely recommend it and I literally devoured this I added some salt and pepper and some garlic powder as well and I think that also added to the flavor but this was so good try to recreate this at home Hey guys, so I just had a mango. I didn't film it, but that just happened. And I'm about to make some, I think I'm gonna make some either noodles or mochi. I'm feeling some carbs right now, but I don't know what I should have. I'm gonna make one mochi, which is this little rice cube. And then I think I'm gonna make some noodles and that will be my food. I'm about to go um, meet my friend in Central Park and go for a walk. And I don't wanna spend money on food out and about in the city so that's what I'm just gonna eat right now eat a little bit more than I need just at the moment but yeah my, ugh, my day has been good I hope your day is going well um, I was thinking about filming a video on being a nudist and I was trying to film it but I just couldn't get my thoughts across clearly my head I'm I've been tired all morning I have no idea why my sleeping pattern has been so messed up since New Year's I've been going to sleep at like 3 a.m but my body always wakes up at 8 a.m. or it used to be 7.30, but now it's like 8 o'clock and when I'm up, I'm up and I cannot for the life of me go back to sleep after that. So I've been going to sleep at like 3 and 4 and waking up at 8 a.m. So I'm a little bit out of it and I couldn't get my words across. I used to have a friend who really struggled with an eating disorder and um, depression because of it and just so many body issues. And then in senior year, she was homeschooled and she was always naked when she was at home. And this one day she was looking down at her belly and she started playing with her fat and she made a face out of it and she just started laughing. And in that moment, that's what ended her self-hate. That's when she was just okay with the way that she looked because she was fucking glad to be in this body and she thought it was cute and beautiful all in that one moment of just playing with her tummy and it was just really powerful um, feeling her own skin. I think it was a combination of being naked all the time and being away from high school. There was so much bullshit pressure in high school, which was the only reason that I hated it because there's so many cliques and all this judgment. But yeah, being away from that part of society and always being naked um, can really help towards self-love. And not only that, but when you're getting naked, you're taking off this layer of judgment that you wear every single day, which is clothes. I just watched this documentary and the woman was like, Clothes are the skin that we choose to wear, and I thought that was really well said because it's true. I love fashion, I think it's so powerful, and I think it is really cool that I can kind of define myself by what I wear. I can choose how people are going to perceive me by what I'm wearing, you know? In a way, I can say, oh, today I'm going to look preppy and trick these people into thinking that I'm this, this, and this, and get this job, or... I mean, we just naturally do that as human beings. We judge people and categorize them. If we see someone who's wearing all black and has piercings and tattoos, oh, they're goth, they're scary. Or we see a girl who has like a North Face and Uggs, oh, she's basic, she's just a plain Jane. And I, that's really restricting to us because then we don't associate with these people. We can't learn from them because they're different and we don't think that we'll get along with them. And, um,. It's just really restricting and then it also just makes everyone when they do something different than what you thought they were gonna do it just 
is so unexpected. Like for me, I know that when I posted that video about me taking shots and sneaking out of school and like my drunk high school stories, a lot of you were like, wow, I always thought you were this really innocent, pure vegan girl. Like I didn't know you were like this. And I was like, there's so much more to me than just the fact that I'm vegan or that I'm kind. I've always been kind and sweet. I think that that's natural to me and a lot of people. Um, but just being vegan, I think that that comes with the, the idea that, oh, we're so perfect and we don't do anything bad, we don't break the rules and stuff like that, which is fine. We, it's just natural for us to judge and categorize people. But I think that, um, in this society at least, I think that when we take our clothes off, it gets rid of that judgment and that is why when I started becoming a nudist, I would do a bunch of photo shoots, um, fashion shoots and it, I always felt kind of anxious or uneasy or I felt my presence through the camera lens. I kind of was always thinking about how I looked in the photo, but then when I got naked and started doing more naked photo shoots, that is when I felt so good, so confident. It was so easy for me to pose and rock my body because that is, I felt truly okay in my body at those times. and. When I was wearing clothes, I would feel less comfortable because the outfit wouldn't exactly define how I was feeling or the outfit wasn't really me, but when I was just in my human body, oh, it just felt so natural and I felt so confident and empowered and no, my body isn't perfect. I actually gained 10 pounds um, like a few months ago and I did a photo shoot right after. The day after I saw that I had gained 10 pounds, I booked a photo shoot for right after and it was really empowering to just be like, my body is changing, my body is going to continue to change and I will grow, my boobs will sag and my skin will wrinkle and I'm going to be okay with it, you know? Um, so it definitely takes time. I, I still struggle with um, loving myself. It's kind of like happiness, so you have to work towards it every day and it's not necessarily hard but it does take a good mental habit, you know? Like when something negative happens, to respond positively and do that every single day or to follow the things that make you feel good and that will lead to happiness. Um, same thing with self-love. Our bodies are always going to change. You can't love yourself today and then tomorrow you gain this amount of weight and then you hate yourself. Like which does happen a lot of the time, but you have to love yourself throughout the changes and that's why it really is a day-by-day -day thing and a habit mentally that you have to build in your mind to, to being okay and accepting yourself and realizing that this physical body isn't all there is and that your spirit is so much more important. And on that note, I know that even if you do love your spirit, it doesn't always make it easier to love your physical presence because those are two separate things. Your spirit is different from your physical presence and your spirit's kind of living in this body and um, it can totally be challenging because you could love your spirit, your spirit could be amazing and you could be so kind and loving, but because you look a certain way, people are going to judge you and not want to hang out with you just because of the way that you look, even though you're an amazing, awesome person. So it can definitely be hard and um, everyone says you have to love yourself on the inside first, which I completely agree with, but it doesn't always make it easier loving yourself on the inside to love yourself on the outside because they're two different things. and. Um, I know that I have had days where my body just feels like a literal flesh prison where I'm just like, God, I feel so holy and whole and amazing when I'm just meditating or in this other realm and then when I come back and I'm, I'm done meditating, I have uh, done my spiritual practices that morning and then I go into society and I, I feel this pressure and then and that's when I'm like, ugh, I don't want to be in this body, like my spirit is so much more amazing, I just want to meet everyone else on this spiritual plane where we're all equal, that's what I really yearn for. But when I'm naked and when I'm getting naked with other women who have the same ideas as me, that is such an amazing feeling, that is in real life, in this human body getting to feel just so equal to everyone else around me and that is why I love being naked. I love being naked with other women. I don't think I've ever uh, been naked for the purpose of just being closer to nature and just being at peace with those around me with any men but that's just because I don't know any men who are nudists but yeah I think that being naked is a way a good way to accept yourself to um, realize that this is a really powerful thing for me that when I first got naked with other women which was in high school I went hiking with these girls who we were kind of like a spiritual tribe always trying to meditate and do yoga and really connect and ground ourselves and when I got naked with them 
I realized how much I love them. I felt so much love for them and so much care and a deep yearning to bring them up and show them that they were so beautiful and enough. And it really broke my heart thinking that they struggled to love themselves. And and then I realized that I was the same way. I always, always, this was in high school, struggled so deeply to love and accept myself. And these other women were looking at me thinking the same thing, that they just, they, they saw my potential and what I could do if I stopped letting this self-hate get in the way of my life. And um, that is another thing that just really clicked for me that, wow, all these women, okay, all these girls that I was with, let me, okay. They were so different for me. We were different skin tones, different skin colors, different birthmarks, different skin problems. You know, we had different birthmarks, I guess is uh, the best word. But yeah, we were all so different and I loved them all so much. And that is when I just realized that it did, I didn't have to fit a mold. I didn't have to fit society's standard, that I was okay and so powerful and so strong despite anything about the way that I looked because I'm a highly vibrating spirit and that is all that I need. This physical presence will not hold me back from what I want to achieve. Like this self-hate would no longer hold me back. So that was just a really powerful moment and since then I've done so many naked photo shoots. I love, uh, I just, I feel so comfortable being naked in front of a camera and there were times where I would get naked in front of men and I would feel so exposed. That was the only time that I would ever feel naked while being naked in the sense of feeling exposed and out there was when I was about to hook up with a, a man and so then I just started abstaining from sex and that has just been that and I, I only want to like have sex with and let people in me literally when I trust them and I feel comfortable around them and I feel that they understand that we are one and that's a whole other thing but basically I just think that being naked is really powerful. I think that it helps us realize that we are all one in the sense that we're all spiritual beings living in this human body and the only thing that separates us, I mean, because literally the only thing that's different between us is a few strands of DNA, but everything else is social status, class, race, material items, but other than that, we're all one, you know? My camera just cut off, but I'm not saying to go out and be naked and take nudes and post pictures of it, but um, that's just what I do because I think it's important to document the moments that you feel most in love with yourself and repeat those moments, and I like to spread this idea, my wisdom. I like to spread my message, you guys know that. Um, but basically I just think that being naked for yourself, not just in the shower or when you get changed or when you're about to have sex, I think that just being naked for yourself in your own space can be very powerful and I think that it's important to um, look at yourself in the mirror without judgment and speak to yourself as kindly as you would anyone else and just remember that the love that you have for anyone else, I know that we all love and nurture everyone around us so much, including our friends when they're having self-love problems and body issues, we are so good at bringing other people up, but we don't put that love in ourselves as much as we should. And I said this in my love video, but all the love you have for anyone else in the world, your close friends, your family, your, your parents, and how you support them and don't want them to struggle and you want them to love themselves, put that love within yourself because really you can put the love that you have for anyone, you can put that into yourself as well. And um, I think that could make a really big difference. So these are the yakisoba noodles. I like to saute some onions and add some sriracha and seaweed. And this was kind of like my late lunch and it was really, really delicious. I love these. I love golden hour. I love when the sun is shining through my windows. Holy crap. It's just so beautiful, man. Kimye, this is Celine's cat. Yes, she named him Kimye. Gender yeah, Jenna, her and her boyfriend, I mean her roommate. Oh, this is my first time meeting him. Oh my god, so beautiful. Come on, Kimye. Yeah, I forgot that it's not a dog, it's not just gonna follow me. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> Hi! Okay. Hey guys, so I'm at Celine's house right now, and I'm about to hang out with her cat, because 
He's so cute. I'm usually, I haven't really hung out with cats that much. Oh, he's like trying to play with the camera strap. So I don't really know how to interact with cats because I've always had dogs. Oh my God. He looks like the cat from Shrek. Oh my God. Puss in boots. Puss in boots. Damn, I wonder what his inner dialogue is. Okay, so I watched Koi Fresco's video and he said that cats are one of the most enlightened animals and people who have cats are more peaceful than people who don't. It's because they're always in the moment, they're always in the present moment. I'll link his video down below, it was really good and eye-opening. Which, by the way, what if- what? Oh my god, he's, he's like literally eating the floor. Oh wait, no, he's eating something off the floor. What you doing? Okay, so anyways, I was vlogging in California and one of you guys said, oh my god, I feel like if he told me and Koi hung out, it would be a vibe explosion. And he DM'd me within two hours of that comment and we've been talking and we actually hung out when I was in California. But I just thought that was really funny how instant that happened. Instantly? Yeah. Can I talk? Anyways, so cute. I love animals so much. My sister used to have a pit bull who I was in love with. Her name was Mila, and then she had to give her away, and so I haven't really had any really nice animal interaction for a long time, so. This is so sweet. So sweet. I love when they make that purr sound. Lane just made some miso soup. We were just talking about how she basically, we basically have the same groceries now. <laughs> so we're going to make some sushi burritos. Well, they're spring rolls, but we're going to put seaweed in them. And then she made some soup with tofu as an appetizer, which is really easy. And I'm going to start cooking this brown rice. And then I danced it out. I love dancing. I'm not too great at it, but I just think there's something so special about flowing to music. It relieves stress, it loosens up your body, and it just feels so damn good. So I danced and I stretched and I went to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!